In today's video, I will be adding a custom cape to Saitama from Figma. And this is the regular cape. And it does it has very it limits the figure a lot, so that's why I'm putting a different cape on it. These plastic capes are very heavy on the figure. And you really can't do too much posing and it also hinders car the articulation so that's why also i'm taking a different path and this is not it this plastic one you see is like okay you could do certain poses with it and split it in half and it's going to look kind of ugly and it doesn't you know hinders the neck articulation can't move all the way up like in a flight pose so yeah I took that out and this is how I have it now look at that Saitama right there you're not gonna like him when he's pissed off like this yeah so I added a wire cape it was easy it's not something out of this world and it makes the figure more lifelike and way better now you could pose him like that in your shelf he's more balanced now and his neck has way more articulation and you could put him in better flight poses or upset poses or whatever all i used was crazy glue any glue that is pretty much instant Will do and just put a drop so all I did was put a drop on each shoulder one drop small drop one over here glued it then make sure that this one line, lined up with this button put a drop of glue there and that's it that's all you need it wasn't that hard this is uh a cape you could buy on eBay for like 15 bucks. It's not that expensive. And it makes the figure look way better. And it's, it's a high improvement. And this old cape over here. This is a fake figure. I'm just using it as a reference. But look at this compared to this. Now this is an update that I think everybody should do. But if you want to keep your figmas as original as possible, then, you know, keep the old plastic cape. And if you do want to remove this in the future, all you got to do is dip it in hot water and remove the cape. Four minutes in the microwave. Dip the figure there for four minutes until it gets loose and take out the cape slowly. That's it. And, uh... This piece over here will cover the, if it does have any little smudge or anything, that cape part will cover it anyway. So, no big deal. So, yeah. Now, I give this figure a 10 out of 10. This is now a nice Saitama. And his arms can move all over the place. And his head can move everything. You could put a peg there to put him on a flight pose or whatever. He doesn't look hunched over now. So that's free to do whatever you want. And the cape is steady. It's not going to fall off. And it's wired. So you could put him in any cool dynamic pose. Not like this one. This one you could just open it and close it. That's it. That's no fun. So yeah, I like it. If you want to do it as well, it's easy. Just put those two drops of glue there and line it up. Put the cape on and that's it. Not a, you don't need a master, there's a master degree <laughs> to put that on. Just like the Magneto cape. So yeah, 